end of NATO. I said, I predict at one point in time, Germany will pivot towards Russia. Well, <laughs> I, I think my prediction came too early, but I think it is probably in the process of happening now. Russia is putting a tremendous energy squeeze on Europe <clears throat> because they want to get through the winter. And Germany and France do not have enough home heating oil to get through the winter without the help of Russia. And Russia is going to want concessions. Do you think it's an accident? And we heard about this uh, nuclear arms deal with Australia, right? Japan, United States. Do you think it's an accident that the French, for example, were left out? The French military director was on, his defense secretary, I should say, was on a tape played on Fox News. And he went off on the United States for leaving them out of this deal. Well, first of all, it's a $60 billion valued project that would have greatly reduced military cost for preparation for France. That's number one. But number two, they can see the U.S. is pivoting away from France and Germany and aligning with Pacific allies to counter China. And the French are furious. I honestly think we're seeing the breakup of NATO. I truly do. And I really further believe is what I predicted in 2014 that Germany and France would leave NATO and they would join some kind of Russian bloc nation agreement. And I think this is where we're headed. And boy, there's some really sticky questions there. The uh, French and the Germans both have uh, land-based ICBMs that are nukes from the United States, you know, left over from the Cold War. Some of it has been reduced by the SALT treaty agreements we made with Russia called detente, but they're not all gone. What's going to happen with those? What's going to happen with the military bases? We rely heavily on a couple of German military bases that are run by the United States. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. And I keep saying, you know, we're looking at the lineups for World War III forming. Right now, it's kind of like if this were an athletic season, this is where the draft choices have been made, the trades are accomplished, and free agents are signed. This is what we're seeing as far as the world lining up with its alliances. And Britain has moved away from France and Germany, and they've pivoted towards the United States, Australia, and Japan, and they're joining this arms agreement. Now, the Brits, I've told you this before, are upset. Uh, at least the Queen is, because they've been told that everything is going to be coming out of the, the Great Reset. It's going to be digital currency, and that uh, the Bank of London, controlled directly by the Queen, is going to be a secondary player, and that has her inflamed this is why we're seeing the carrier HMS, uh, Queen Elizabeth, and their strike force in the South China Sea. It was off the coast of India. They've now moved it. This is really interesting the way things are lining up. I'm not predicting things are going to happen tomorrow, but I'm just saying alliances and allegiances are changing. And this reminds me of when I used to teach history. And I used to talk about the Triple Entente and the Triple Alliance forming, and there was some fluidity in there. You know, first one group is on one side, and then they're on the other. But pretty soon, the alliances solidified, and an attack upon one would have been an attack upon all. And what set off that war was an incident, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, who was really not an important world political figure, but it was enough when he was killed that it set off a chain of events that will end up leading to World War I. It doesn't take a lot. Once you have the alliances uh, lined up and the positions are set in stone and there's resources to be fought over, it just usually takes an incident to set things off. Very serious times that we live in right now and this is, uh, we're entering a time that reminds me of own and there's resources to be fought over. It just usually takes an incident to set things off. Very serious times that we live in right now alone, and there's resources to be fought over. It just usually takes an incident to set things off. 
very serious times that we live in right now and this is uh, we're entering a time that reminds me a lot of World War One. Well that's it for the Common Sense Show. Please share this far and wide. Thumbs up, like us and make sure So this is a book of Revelation seventeen and the sixteen it read and the ten horn which is also is upon the beastie this shall hate the whore and they shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her fresh and burn her with fire. All praise and honor and glory and to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Nakaha Kadash, and the Bahana to the Elder and the Apostles of the Miss Son who do well. A peace, blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this through the horns of the heaven and be on the forefront of the spirit. Oh, let to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise on us again as in the days of all this. So, amen. The videos is self explanatory. You see, when he I first came to this truth and uh, the elders, uh, the apostles and the brother broke down to me Revelation 17, especially verse 16. You see, I, I was really looking forward to see how this will really unfold. I uh, see, I was looking forward to see how this really will really unfold uh, because, amen, uh, at that time, uh, going back to, let's uh, say, 2010 up to 2015, it seemed like a far-fetched scenario. You see, let's say it was an NATO country uh, to go against, uh, you see, America. And uh, when you consider that, uh, uh, there is what you call an uptight relationship uh, between NATO and America. You see, it was like uh, a husband and a wife. When you consider the relationship between NATO and as a USA, and really people used to think, uh, see, Revelation 17 and 16, uh, over here in the Great Mist, we broke it along. But, hey man, you see, the vision is praying upon tables, man. You see, uh, the end of NATO is utter destruction and confusion, man. You see, all of the lineup are in the pressure uh, to set your for your three. Uh, what we are waiting for is uh, for the uh, dig to a uh, to be made mandatory, man, in which that is a subset, uh, you see, of the prophecy of the war for Armageddon, which in this whole revelation 17 and 16, man, the 10 holdings that was going to NATO and the EU, which in which NATO is a military party of it and the EU is an economic party of it. Those are two major, I uh, see, a pillars in the East South Kingdom. You see the, hey man, the, the, what you call the alliance is there. You see, Russia is setting his alliance and America is setting uh, his alliance. So the line have been drawn on the sand. You see, what we are waiting for, hey man, is a go ahead from the harbor, Shemya Shai. You see, uh, this uh, wicked world is ripe uh, for judgment, man. This week, the old uh, is life for judgment, and uh, that that video man was self-explanatory. I don't even need to add anything. So this is a book of Habakkuk. Two, I started with why I say I will stand upon my watch, and they set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Habakkuk shall answer me and say, "Delight the vision and make it plain upon tables, so that he may learn and that readers." For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but in the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, and it will not tarry. And here we are, man, at the end of this tunnel, man. Uh, we are approaching dawn, or so we are approaching the morning, and when you see the sun will shine over Israel, man. You see that uh, we come by, you see the manifestation of the sun of God. This is a Jacobite, if you will, the Jacobite. You see. So I mean, let me uh, grab another scripture really quick. See what six. See. See. So this is uh, see. Uh, the book of Isaiah, forty six, uh, and verse eight. Uh, remember this uh, and assure yourself, men, uh, for you faint-hearted men who saw uh, the vision uh, is not conceivable. You have people who saw that. Uh, I mean, it is not possible. Uh, when they listen to the video, they say, Amen, hey, hey, uh, this is not possible, hey, the Holy Spirit is not with you, you cannot break this down this way. You see, and hold, guess what? Everything we are speaking, starting with, starting with the elders and the apostles, 
is coming to pass. It said, bring it again to mind or you transgressor. So it is time to bring it to mind, man. And repent. Remember the former thing of old. Remember the act of our ancestor. Remember how the Lord delivered you out of Egypt, man. And you people, you think that it's kind of the Lord is afraid to show his wonders, man. It has come to a point where even niggas are mocking the Lord on TikTok, on YouTube. I saw a video, man. Them niggas are going are going too far, man. They were mocking our sister when they were in the wilderness, man. There was an elder. He was walking in front of a kid. And the kid, he was walking in the wilderness. It's come to a point where he was tired and he started complaining. See, and uh, the strange thing, man, is that cartoon, uh, the character Brack, it can't be more accurate than that, man. For I am the power, and there is none else. You see, I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning. We are able to open this ancient scroll, man, uh, to declare the end, man. You see. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done say, My counsel shall send thee, and I will do all my praise. So, Amen. It's your praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Lakaha, Kadash, man. See, I send Abuhana to the elders and his apostles of the mission, and who do well, a peace and blessing. And salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this through the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of the spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again. See, and I don't, I don't remember if I gave, I started with, with praising the Lord, nevertheless, man, you see, the message is out of there, man. See, I mean, the message is out of there. Uh, we are coming, we are approaching the end of this thing. We are approaching the end of this thing, man. So Lord, you're in your part of that number, man. Keep on praying, keep on enduring, uh, keep on fasting. Don't be a, a day of an atonement either. It, hey, well, the only day you fast is a day of atonement. So, this is our test. I hope you brothers are edified. On to the next.